welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are discussing on hook how to construct a hook. Um, our last tutorial was on um, finance. So if you only have the video, go and get it. You can see. So we are focusing on this one hook. Okay, let's start. So the first thing that you see here is that you study the everything is about interpretation. You understand? So we are going to start from the dance here. Okay, we are going to start from the dance here. So we are going to start from here. Okay, you can see from here to here we have eight, eight with uh, eight millimeter there. That's the dimension there. So we are going to first sketch this one, which will be up. Um, we are going to first sketch the circle here. Once we sketch that, we will be able to sketch this and uh, this. You understand? Okay. So now let's move on with it. Okay, let's the circle here now. We are going to study the circle here. The circle here now is radius ten. Radius 10 here, okay. You can see radius 10 from here to here, so it's radius 10. So we are going to draw radius 10. Just make sure you make sure your radius 10. So here yeah, I'm going to make sure radius 10 that will be one centimeter. When we talk about radius 10, that's radius 10. Millimeter and when you convert to your centimeter, it will be fine. Zero point one. That's one centimeter. Okay. All right. That's one centimeter. Okay. You can see. So just sketch it at the place you have marked for it. So we mark this place for it. So I make it to be thicker because so that you can see it very well. So. We are going to skip it once we are done with it. So just put it at the point here. You put it here, okay? So we are going to sketch this one up here, okay? So that we can understand everything. So I'm going to sketch it um, to the to the horizontal now. We just sketch it here, okay? The line. Okay. Now I'm going to scale it up here again. So that's the vertical line. So the vertical line. Here's the vertical line. So the next one now is that uh, we interpret the question. Like I told you from here, from here, are you getting from here where we draw the same radius? Okay, this here is 8 millimeter. So we are going to measure it with our ruler so that we can check out the radius of this one. Right, so next one, make sure the 8, centi 8 millimeter, that will be 0 0.8 centimeter. Don't forget the time this is 0 0.1. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive more video um stuff like this. I'm going to make it to be done. So now here oh sorry that's 0 0.9. So here is the 0 0.8. Here is 0 0.8. And at that point where is 0 0.8, the question says you can see the question here is 0 0.8. The question said that we should draw a radius of 27 radius from this 0 0.8 i'm going to draw radius of 27 radius okay so now we're going to draw the 27 radius so we're going to measure it very quickly make it seven the seven radius right okay that is 2.7 Right, from the point, from this point, so you measure this point, then from this point. So that's 2.7. You can see the way it is. So that's 2.7. Right, so that's 2.7, you can see. So the next that we do that, you can see this line that we have drawn 10 radius. This line that we have done the same video, we are going to make sure it from here to here the, dim the dimension is 50 millimeter. That's 50. So 
are going to measure 60 from here to here with 60. Alright, so we are going to sketch this one on it. So measure is 60, that will be 6 centimeters. So I am going to sketch it here. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6. I need to lift. So at the junctions of that six, the question says again, look at the question. At this place that we have measured six, we say something like diameter. When you see something like theta here, like something like this, is diameter. Say diameter 16, diameter 32. I'm going to divide diameter by 2 to get radius because we must stretch out radius. You understand so that it can be equal to this. So like this one has 16 diameter divided by 2, that will be 8. That will be 8 radius. That's 8 millimeter. And that will be 0 0.8. Zero point eight. So that's zero point eight. Also that. So that's zero point eight. You can see the other one is thirty two divided by two. That's sixteen. That's one point six years centimeter. Yeah, that's how I did it. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you see more videos. Hit the like button, hit the notification button so you see more videos. Alright, so there's the 16. Where we divide the 32 by 2, don't forget that. Okay, the next one, so all the questions is just about interpretation. So let's go over D with this side, this is this side like this. So now the next one I is this. You can see this. This now. Uh, it's external. This two, you join it between seven and this circle, and that they want to join them together. The radius of fourteen, you know, and it's external to it, external to twenty-seven, external to uh, sixteen. That is thirty-two. That is okay. Since external, that will be fourteen. Let's take this one first. Fourteen plus this bigger circle. That is fourteen plus sixteen. You understand? Fourteen radius of sixteen. That will give us thirty. Okay, this is us 30. We are going to draw the arc of 30 from that point. Because the center of the circle was in somewhere, it is, it is in somewhere, but we didn't know it. So we need to get the center. So that's why we need to draw the arc from this place. So the arc 30, right? So the 14 again. So you need to draw the axis is joining this and this. And the center of the center of this is this. That's why I draw the 30 here. 14 plus 16 is 30. You join this one now. All right, you join this one. So and the center of this one is here. I forgot it's here. That's uh, here. Okay. So in that place is 14 plus 27. It's 14 plus 27. Okay. All right. So the 14. This one joins to this one. So what I want to draw the arc. From here, this point here. Because we measure from here to here 0 0.8. So I will use it to draw this big circle. Okay, according to this. So we are going to measure 14 plus 27. This is the two radius joined together. Okay, that will give us 41. 14 plus 27 will give us 41. So now I'm going to draw the arc from here. That's the arc of down. So you can see where it's joined together here. You can see where it's joined together. Here. So we are going to sketch out the 14. After it's joined, they have joined together. That means that we have get the center of the circle. Okay. So after we got the center of the circle, after we get to the center of the circle, we are going to uh, draw a radius 14. So once you draw it, it is joined to this automatically. So make sure 14. That will be 4. Point, oh, sorry, 1.4. 1.4. Right. 1.4. Don't forget. It. 1.4. So from that place, that's the center of the. That is. automatically it joins together 
at that portion. Automatically join together when you message here one point four. You join together like this. That's it. So you just make sure it accordingly if you join together. Okay. So the next one now we are moving on. So the next one I uh, we have seen the we have brought this one down that we have completed this side. Okay, we have completed that side. So this side now, the next side is this side, we want to complete it, okay, so we can see this one here, this one, joining to this small one, this bigger one, join to this small one, and then we can see how it's called, so imagine the circle is complete like this, imagine the circle is completed, so when, once it's completed like this, once we imagine, we can see that this, it has a way of capturing this one, that means that it's internal to this one and it's external to this one because this one go like this and in uh, this uh, circle move like this so it's external to this and internal to this so let's for us sketch our arc from this plane so since it's internal to this that will be minus so that will be 16 here the bigger circle 16 minus this this is 62 so 16 minus 62 what do you give us 16 minus 62 so that will give us uh, that will give us 46. That will give us 46. So we are going to measure 46. 46. 46. All right. That's 46 from here. You understand? Because internal to this one it's internal to this one and the circle is somewhere here the center of the circle is somewhere here so 46 you check it here yes, okay. you can later clean it if it's too long okay that's 46 so this one is this small one is internal i mean it's external to this small one that will be plus so you can check it here external this one, this one. so that will be plus okay so let's get it done so that 10 plus 52 that will give us 72. That's 7.2. That will be 